Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll speak about the digestion and absorption of proteins. Uh, amino acids, they are not stored by the body, therefore they must be obtained from the diet. They can be synthesized de novo or produced from normal protein degradation. Starting with digestion, it begins in the stomach where it secretes gastric juice. This juice contains HCL and the proenzyme pepsinogen. It makes the pH optimal for the action of proteases. Pepsinogen is a zymogen and once it is activated, it becomes pepsin. On entering the small intestine, pancreatic proteases take over. The release and activation of the pancreatic zymogens is mediated by the secretion of cholecystokinin and secretin. These are two polypeptide hormones of the digestive tract. We spoke about these in lipids as well. Enteropeptidase, formerly called enterokinase, is an enzyme synthesized by the intestinal mucosal cells and it is also present on the luminal surface of the brush border membrane. It converts the pancreatic zymogen trypsinogen to trypsin. Enteropeptidase unleashes a cascade of proteolytic activity because trypsin is the common activator of all the pancreatic zymogens. Once trypsin is activated, it is able to activate chemotrypsinogen to chemotrypsin, proelastase to elastase, and procarboxypeptidases A and B to carboxypeptidases A and B. Okay, now absorption. Free amino acids are taken into the enterocytes by a sodium-linked secondary transport system of the apical membrane. Di and tripeptides, however, are taken up by a proton-linked transport system. The peptides are hydrolyzed in the cytosol to amino acids that are released into the portal system by facilitated diffusion. Thus, only free amino acids are found in the portal vein after a meal containing protein. These amino acids are either metabolized by the liver or released into the general circulation. Okay, a review the dietary protein goes into the stomach where pepsin acts on the protein, produces polypeptides and amino acids. Then we go to the duodenum. The pancreatic enzymes, uh, which we said chemotrypsin, elastase, carboxypeptidase, trypsin itself. From there, it goes into the uh, small intestine where you have um di and tripeptidases, aminopeptidases uh, that break uh, the peptides, the di and tripeptides into amino acids. Finally, in the small intestine, the amino acids are absorbed and they are carried in the portal circulation into the level where they are metabolized. Celiac disease is a disease of malabsorption resulting from immune-mediated damage to the small intestine in response to ingestion of gluten, which is a protein found in wheat, barley and rye. Okay, that is it for this uh, video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.